On the 22nd of February this year, I had the misfortune of suffering a stroke. Suddenly, at quarter to 10, one evening, the room just totally went in and out of focus. We're going to send you to an audiology appointment, which again we just thought was routine. You have to like sandpaper almost the head to get these little probes to stick on them. And we sat there and after a half an hour and you're hearing all these, we can hear the sounds. Mm. I'm thinking, this is a bit weird. And we actually stopped the audiologist and said, what's actually going on? And he said, oh, I'm really sorry nobody's explained this, but we think Max is profoundly deaf. A lot of things go through your mind in terms of, um, yeah, how, how, will, how will I continue to support my family? How are they going to cope with this, this concept, this idea that I've actually suffered a stroke, etc.? But also the emotional side of why did it happen to me? I couldn't process it. A thousand things were going around in my head. What's his life going to be like? We like music in our family. You know, is he going to go to mainstream school? Is this going to limit his careers of what he wants to do? I didn't even realise deafness, being deaf, was something that was covered by critical illness. I, did, I never considered that it was a critical illness. So. We did think, didn't we, oh, they'll never pay out. It will be, yeah. it will be a corporate business you, that, that... You were much more positive, but I was very yeah. much, they'll find a loophole. We, as an industry, we will uh, see, in the course of a year, dozens upon dozens of marketing campaigns about what we do and those campaigns often rely on negative facts about uh, how many people have mortgages that aren't covered with life insurance. We expect that to inspire people to, to cover the things that they, they love. A lot of the conversations we have to have are really tough conversations and it's quite a difficult subject to broach.